Hello guys, I'm back. Karen Miller here. If you're new to my channel, welcome, welcome. So I'm going to continue with our recipes. So we made the cheese. This was in the refrigerator for two days now. I did not do this the day after. I was planning on doing that, but I didn't. So we have our cheese here. It's really hard, guys. It's already separating from the sides, so I know it's not going to be difficult to remove this because I already see it separating. I'm going to just see it comes out very easily. It's really hard, guys. This is the hardest cheese that I've made so far. So it's grateable. Let me get the grater. Let me see if I can. It's almost my eating time. Hmm. It doesn't have the same texture as cheddar cheese. It tastes really good. And it's grateable. You see, you can grate it. This grates really nicely. So, we're going to start our recipe. So, I have some onions here. I have about a half of a large onion and some garlic. Let's add our spinach. This is one box of frozen spinach. I didn't use fresh spinach. I have my onions and garlic. And I'm going to add the artichoke. I have artichoke hearts. I'm going to add a few, about four or five pieces. added some artichoke water to loosen it up a little bit so if you're not using the artichoke you might have to just add some more water or maybe not squeeze out the water from the, the spinach but I squeezed out the water and I added some of the water from the artichoke okay so this would give it some extra flavor So I have this plant-based butter here. It's called Melt Organic. It's really good. I'm going to put two tablespoons. A little extra. And now I'm going to add tablespoon of flour I'm going to stir this then we're going to add our milk I'm going to add some almond milk to this Let's add one cup of almond milk. Stir it. 
after this is going to thicken up let's season this up a bit with some black pepper a lots of black pepper and I have some garlic salt This is thickening up. I'm going to add the cheese. I'm adding one and a half cups of the cheese. This cheese reminds me of the, you know, the American cheese, that orange thing. That's what this reminds me of. It has that texture. So when I come back, we're going to add our spinach mixture. You can see this is melting. Let's add our spinach mixture. The reason I don't think it's necessary to saute the onions is because this is going to bake in the oven so the onions are going to cook it's going to cook here while it's in this part here it's going to also continue cooking when you bake it see the cheese has melted let's mix this in This is going to be really good, guys. Yes, this is looking good. So I'm going to let this cook for another two to three minutes and then pour it into the dish, sprinkle some more cheese on it, and then stick it in the oven to get some color on the top. I'm going to butter the dish guys I'm going to add some more cheese another cup of cheese I'm gonna put some cheese at the bottom and then I'm going to put some cheese at the top I'm going to pour this here Add some more cheese this is going to melt nicely going to add some more cheese lots of cheese and I'm going to put this in my toaster oven I'm not going to turn on my my regular oven the large oven because I don't want too much heat in the kitchen so I'm putting this in the toaster oven, the highest temperature. 450 is the highest temperature in my toaster oven. I added some butter at the top as well. 
before putting it in the oven so guys I'm back I removed the dip from the oven and it's looking really good so let's take a taste Hmm. This guy. This is good. It's very good guys. You need to do this. Take care guys. See you in the next video. This is delicious.